how are you innovating your rooftop garden to make it more sustainable? Well, I learned a lot. We wanted this to be like a very future, forward-thinking rooftop garden. So, and you know, we have very specific situation on our roof. There's a lot of wind, you know, so forth. So every, I think every garden has to work within its own environment. And our planters are all old kegs. So that was a new thing. I don't know anyone who has planters that are kegs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're just, we're just innovating um, from the start. But after the first season, I learned that we got to work on sub-irrigating. I, I learned about um, self-watering containers and sub-irrigating. Um, there's this terrific uh, guru of this uh, that I've gotten to know, and it's fascinating. Um, it makes the plants so much more healthier. It's, it conserves so much more water, yeah. and it's actually a lot less work um, sub-irrigating these planters, so I'm converting them all into that. I also learned about a composting method that uses old um, Japanese uh, tr methods of fermenting uh, food waste with rice bran so that it actually ferments, you could keep it inside, doesn't smell, it smells a little like vinegar, but um, other than that, there's nothing, you know, rotting, there's no worms or anything like that. And you add it to the soil to enrich it, and it's a very rich soil. So I can't wait to see what happens with the combination of that. And, you know, this is all a learning experience, too. So depending on how that goes, you know, we might add new, uh, you know, elements. Um, like I'm working with different types of mulch. Uh -huh. So last year we used Stumptown Coffee Roasters coffee husks. Now there's like a new bean to bar chocolate com uh, company in Brooklyn that has cacao husks that we might use. Some of, I don't know. We're working within our environment of Brooklyn, basically. So yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah, yeah. we're trying out what, you know, what's the best based on what we got.